Hey everyone, Chris here. If you're a subscriber to my channel, you probably know that in December, I fell over and broke my ankle. Now, luckily it was just quite a small avulsion fracture, but we're now, I think, 13 weeks post injury, back running, back up to doing up to two hours at a time running. So the recovery is going really well. And in this video, I'm going to talk you through the five things that I've been doing that have really helped me get back to running that quickly. So a bit of background. If you haven't seen the previous video, go watch that. I was out running, leading a group in front of about 15 runners that I was, I was leading, came down off a curb, fell over, um, went over on my ankle, didn't think too much of it, but went to the hospital a uh, day or two later to get check it out and they said it was a, an avulsion fracture which is where a piece of the bone rips off the ankle and it's not too bad like normally you just put your foot in a boot and it heals 8 to 12 weeks and you're back training again which is great so uh, I was really keen to get back to running as soon as possible running is really important to me as I'm sure it is to you so I've been following quite a, a strict recovery program, I guess, and I've gone through all the things I've done, and these are the five things I think are most important. So number one is that I stuck to the plan. So based on what the fracture clinic gave me, and then when I was speaking to my physio as well, it was at four weeks where I was wearing the boot, and then four weeks of taking the boot off and walking but no running, so no impact stuff on there. And followed that pretty closely. So the boot was on whenever, pretty much whenever I was walking around. I wasn't walking on the ankle. So it was a it was a pain to be honest, because every day when I take my daughter to school, I had to put the boot on to get to the car, take the boot off to drive, put the boot back on to walk her into school, come back to the car, take the boot off, drive home to put the boot on to walk back into my house. There's like five Velcro straps, seven, I think, seven Velcro straps. Massive pain, uh, but well worth it to make sure it's healing. And when I was at home, they told me to take the boot off. So I did a massive amount of hopping because every time I wanted to get up to the toilet or the kitchen, I didn't want to have to do all the Velcro. So I just hopped on my left leg and I now have this massively jacked left leg from all the hopping I've been doing. Um, so really placing no load on that ankle without the boot for the first four weeks. Then I took it off. Then I did loads of walking. Like, like I did like a did a half marathon walking, no running at all um, in those four weeks, just to get start building up the strength without putting that impact back when the bone was still healing. Uh, and then at the end of that, we went through a, a progressive recovery program that I'll talk about a bit later. So that's number one is really stick to those instructions because when you first do it, your bone is still broken, right? And it needs time to heal. And then once it's healed, then it's all good again. And then you can start putting that load on because at that point, your legs aren't really conditioned to that impact of running every week or every couple of days or whatever it is you go through. So it's important to follow that progression that the hospital gives you. Number two then is I spent a lot of time maintaining my aerobic fitness, my cardio. So I didn't want to come back to running and have lost it all. So I spent a ton of time cycling and a ton of time swimming. And I tried to keep that as light as possible. So initially when I got, I got, I was off my feet for about a week after I'd done it. And then I started getting back on the bike, did it all on the turbo trainer because when you're outside, you never know when you're going to hit a hill that gets super hard or you're just gonna have to unclip quickly and twist your foot in the wrong way and I didn't wanna risk any of that. So we did it all on the turbo trainer and I at first kept it really light, like I was outputting under 100 watts. Every time I got to 100 watts, I would knock it back or knock a gear off. Uh, really slow, really frustrating, um, but just great to keep myself ticking over and then as I felt stronger, I was able to gradually start putting more power out there. Same thing in the pool, for the first couple of weeks, I did nothing but swim with a pull boy between my legs. So no kicking at all, just with the pull boy. And then gradually started adding a bit of kicking, but no real hard kicking until that eight week point where I could start running again. It took it really easily in the pool. Again, maintaining that aerobic base, that cardio fitness, so that when I started running, it didn't completely feel like starting from scratch again. 
Number three then is, and this is probably, if I was gonna pick one that was the most important, uh, physio, because so many people don't do the physio exercises. And if you, you'll know if you've ever had physio and you've done them, it works really well when you do them and doesn't really work when you don't do them. And it, it sounds obvious, but it's really hard to motivate yourself, especially when you get loads of stuff to do and the physio's like, oh, I'll do this three times a day. Who can be bothered to do that? Well, I've done the science, I have been bothered to do that, and I can tell you it works quite well. So I've been doing uh, physio three times a day, religiously, I've been going back to the physio every maybe three weeks or so, two or three weeks, and seeing what's working, what isn't, changing up the exercises, and then going away and doing those for uh, a number of weeks, and then going back and seeing what we need to review. And literally for the first, uh, for the first, I guess, 11 weeks, I did those three times a day religiously. Now I have got to the end of the day and been a bit tired and skipped that third set occasionally, um, but minimum I'm still doing them two times a day. Most day I'm still doing them three times a day. And I'm gonna continue that until about five months post-injury because I've got an ultra I'm hoping to run at the end of May. And so speaking to the physio, we've said, right, well, we'll just keep doing them three times a day for those five months and that'll ensure that my ankle is uh, in the best strength possible. So regular physio visits, actually following the physio instructions, getting the physio done three times a day. Number four is I've been using healing imagery and icing it every day. So uh, usually after I've done maybe the middle set of physio each day, I, I spend some time using mental imagery, using healing imagery, um, both to help the injury to heal and imagine what it's going to be like to start running again. Again, I've eased off on that slightly now that I've actually started running again, but that was really useful in terms of keeping the motivation there to get back racing and being excited about that. Um, and then while I, after I do that, I then stick an ice block on it. So if there is any swelling, that will help it to go down as well. So I'm doing the physio three times a day, the healing imagery and the icing one time per day, uh, still icing it every day at the moment. And then number five, when I returned to running, I followed a recovery program. So we've been running three times a week. The first run was like, it was like a 10 minute run of uh, one minute walk, one minute run. We were gradually building that up. So going from 10 minutes to 20 minutes to 30 minutes um, over the course of a couple of weeks. So like the first one was like 10 minutes and then did a 14 minute and then like an 18 minute, something like that. And we gradually started building those intervals up. So from one minute run, one minute walk to say two minutes run, one minute walk, playing around with those variables. And I did that for, for two or three weeks. And I, at that point, I really wasn't having any pain. So I went back to the physio and we said, okay, well, let's start really pushing it now because if you're just recovering from a broken ankle, there should be some discomfort. So if anything, we, we could have pushed it a little bit harder earlier, um, but really taking that really staged approach of just adding in little bits of running worked really well in that the ankle really hasn't reacted to that at all. I've had a little bit of soreness and I got a little bit, when I went to do some cross country and there was all kind of, of weird angles that you tend to get when you're running up and down muddy hills. A bit of soreness there, probably more so, um, but in general, it's worked really well having that night staged approach to the point now where I quickly managed to scale up from from doing half an hour to 45 minutes, to an hour, to an hour 15, an hour and a half, now up to two hours, and that's all going really well. So that's the, the five things. I've been doing, let's recap those. Um, but if you have found this useful, please hit that subscribe button. That would be awesome and give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Um, so let's recap. So one, stuck to the plan, four weeks of the boot, four weeks of no running, then a, a very gradual return. Number two, maintained my aerobic fitness with cycling and swimming. Uh, number three, done the physio, been to physio regularly, doing the physio exercises three times a day. Number four, using the healing imagery and using an ice pack on my ankle at least once a day. And number five, following a really phased recovery program of gradually adding in some running 
to some walking. That's working really well for me. Will it get me to race to the castle? I don't know, but I hope so. Uh, if you have an avulsion fracture, please remember that this video is my story. It's not medical advice. You should get your own medical advice. Um, but there is good news that I think if you follow the plan, it should heal pretty quickly and hopefully you'll be back running soon.